In this video, you're going to see how to fix a soft plastic lure that gets bent. As you can see, the tail right here in this section is bent. It is not good. This is going to negatively impact the lure's motion in the water, so it needs to be fixed. This is pretty common. These soft plastic lures, they're basically built out of a material that is, uh, it starts in a liquid form, just super hot. And then as it cools down, it cools down in a mold. And then once it cools, it'll just take the form of that mold. But if it gets hot again while being out of the mold, right? So in this case, it was probably in packaging that got left in the sun or a tackle box out in the sun. And if it gets stuck in there and gets sit out in the hot sun, it'll heat up. And then as it, and it'll take a, a new shape. And then when it cools down, it'll keep that newer shape. So that is what causes these tails to, uh, to, to, to bend like this, sometimes the entire body. But either, either way, regardless of what's bent, the good news is that you can rebend it simply by reversing the issue. So we know it requires heat to reform, and there's several options that you have. Number one, you can just use the sun. That's what I normally do. I'll actually just set it out in the sun. I have a wood plank here so you can see. So this one over here is a good one, right? This is nice and straight. This is how it should be. And you can see when it's laid down on upright, it'll just be basically be flush. It'll be flush with the board. And so what I do out in the sun, if I'm not in a hurry, right, I'll put it out in the sun, leave it out on a, on a, just anything, a piece of wood, a table, whatever, and just prop it up so that it can't twist, it can't fall over in the, in the wind, and just let it sit there. And it literally, by the time you get it, it'll be straight, let it cool down in this straight form, and then you'll have yourself a good, a good lure ready to rock. Another thing that people do is actually put it into a, a pan, like get some boiling water, put it in there, and that's uh, that certainly works. I don't like putting this stuff in pans. I don't know if uh, I don't know if how good that is with eating afterwards. So the other the other option is to use a hair dryer, right, or a heat gun. But you have to get it super hot, and then and then straighten out and let it cool down. How I think the best way to do this will be is to go ahead and have a board or something ready so that you can actually have the right form. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be aiming right here on this lure, right on the problem spot. Everything else is fine, right? It's all perfectly straight otherwise. So I'm just going to isolate this spot, let it let it warm up, and then let it sit. And then we should have ourselves a working lure. I just started the timer, and so what I'll do is I'll heat it up and let you know how long it takes to get this thing back in action. All right, so that was a minute and a half, and as I just, I basically just stopped it once I saw that it's basically laid natural, right? And really cool that I, as soon as I stopped, it didn't pop back up right before there was that gap there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna prop this up with a couple other lures. I'll have to take the Slam Shady Bomber right behind it, and then get the Alabama Leprechaun on the other side. And again, this is just to make sure that it won't fall over. And then we'll let this let it cool down and just retake the new form and we will be back in action. All right, so it's been sitting for a few minutes and let's go check it out, right? Check this out, nice and straight, uh, problem solved and that was really fast. So this hair dryer uh, certainly gets the job done. You can see it's a little bit flimsy still, it's still warm. I do need to let it, uh, let it cool down and, and get back to its proper form to make sure that it's 100% good. But you can see the kink is out. Um, just wanted to show the process, the key is to get it hot, right? get the plastic all hot, and then set it down so that it takes whatever form that you want it in. Because that's all, that's all it is. It's very simple. It's uh, just heat it up, it gets, it gets malleable, set it down, put it into the proper position. You can use some other lures to make sure that it stays in that position as it cools down. And then you're gonna have yourself a fixed lure just like that. So this thin piece, it only took about a minute and a half to, to get warm enough to reform. So this is a thin part, that's a, uh, it's a minute and a half. Uh, if it was like a thicker part of the body, right, if somehow the thicker body got compromised, the same exact process would work. It would just take a lot more time, a lot more time to heat up the material to make sure that the entire core is heated. And then once it is, then set it down. If it's, if it's curved to the side, lay it on the side. If it's curved up and down, put it on its back and just make sure just to keep it propped up so that it, uh, it reforms. And if you're using the sun, it's again, same method where I would have just leave the kinked one up, and then with that sun over time, it'll eventually lay down, keep some other lures, uh, keep it upright, and it'll be back in action. So, any questions at all, leave a comment down below, and uh, just make sure that if you do have some issues, don't throw these lures away. They're still very good. It just takes a little bit of time to reform, reshape, and then let it cool down, 
and then time to go catch plenty of fish with it. So any questions at all, leave a comment down below. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club for saltwater anglers, especially if you're going after redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder. We actually guarantee you'll be finding more fish than ever before. You'll be saving money on all the tackle you need, and you'll be meeting a ton of new fishing friends. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.